Hello and welcome to day 12 of my journey to 2000 ELO. Today was a very difficult and challenging day because my internet connection was very, very bad. I had to refresh the page many times. I had to repeat moves many times and um, I lost two games on time and one game uh, I managed, I managed to win the game, but my opponent had, I think, five or six minutes uh, on his clock and I had like 20 or 30 seconds. So definitely not my best day. Having said that, let's go through the game. Let's see if there is anything I can uh, use in the future to uh, improve at chess. First game was against Ivana uh, from Ukraine and it was a game with like 80% uh, accuracy, one blunder, one mistake, two inaccuracies. So let's go through the game and the blunder was exactly here. Yes, because there is a free pawn and I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. I, instead, I continue with the um, scotch game, which was not exactly the best uh, way to move forward. Mm -hmm. no. mm, continue. Some inaccuracies here and there, but nothing too major. And then, yeah, checkmate. So this was game one. Uh, I'd say all in all, not that bad for my level, but I, um, I took way too long. I took way too long and I'm not sure I can blame everything on the internet connection. So that was game one. Game two. Game two ended up um, being a loss on time and um, I lost the game with like maybe five minutes left uh, for my opponent. So a lot of room for improvement. Here is the game. Here are the statistics of the game. 86% accuracy, two blunders, one mistake, two inaccuracies. And um, here it's the game so first blunder was to move the knight forward because i thought he cannot take but the engine says it would be better to move it backward okay make some space okay um that's quite quite a tricky move for me to find but I guess he doesn't want me to end up with like a queen and two white points in the center. So I get that. Um, and here comes another blind. I can already see that's that's a bad move because now I would move maybe here. Then when he moves the queen away, I'll move probably my my other pawn to b6 so that I have this structure um, a better move would be e what e5 okay mm -hmm. not exactly sure why uh, this was a very bad exchange And I feel this was the move that just um, made this game extremely difficult to win because basically I allowed the opponent to infiltrate my defense and yeah. 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 Bad, bad situation. Yeah, here I ran out of time. Not exactly sure what I was thinking with this move. It would have been better to move the rook here and like keep the bishop there and attack this pawn. So that at least I am like two pawns and he's only one pawn. Uh, but uh, yeah, I ran out of time. All in all, I would say 
it's not a bad game, but uh, I lost on time. It took too long for for the moves, and yeah, the internet connection was that was definitely an issue. But but I cannot blame everything on the internet connection. So a lot of room for improvements. <laughs> that's that's my my overall um, assessment of this game. And then came game three against Antonio. Um, Accuracy 70%, 4 blunders, 1 mistake, 1 inaccuracy. That's another game that went uh, went not so well and that I lost on time. So here's the game. Mm-hmm. Wait, there was a blunder. Why is that a blunder? Would have been better to move to... to b6 and the reason is oh yeah that's a very good that's a very good position i take if he takes i take he cannot take back and i can go make some holes on this side of the board if he doesn't take i can just move forward and then i cause a problem on this side and or I can just put my after I move my my pawn away I can just attack the king and there is always the, the rook if I stop here so yeah definitely a very good position a uh, queen a bishop and a pawn it's a nice structure to keep in mind uh, for the future Ah uh, yes, I comp I thought he's gonna he was gonna move this and I forgot that there was a pawn here, and basically yeah he fooled me. Um, yeah, that was definitely a blunder because now I I basically block my my access to the king and i didn't know what else to do the engine says of course attack the knight he moves away and then i can check it's correct yes yeah yeah I missed that. That's such a good combo. Mm. Yeah. This, uh, this is another blunder because, well, yeah, I thought to, it was a good idea to attack both, but I forgot to protect this pawn. Better way would have been to move there. Take un passant. Hmm. Yeah, I missed that as well. I missed that as well. I just had a, such a hard time taking out, uh, moving from 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 the C file to the toward the opposite uh, king. And uh, and then yeah, basically I ran out of time. Here I was thinking maybe to move backward, and then attack the rook. But um, I was way too slow, lost on time. Uh, all in all, quite a disappointing game. But I am not going to stress too much on these three games. I think the internet connection made it very hard for me to focus on the game. So I know it's wrong to blame that, <laughs> to blame this performance on the internet connection. But I feel it's uh, it's very good. Um, it's also very good to keep in mind that that was a factor and that tomorrow uh, hopefully the internet connection will be better and hopefully I will play better. Having said that, I enjoyed playing despite the result. I hope you enjoy watching and uh, see you tomorrow for more chess.